This time on saline intermission, we did repair a four foot rip in the main cell. We did our conclusion with that wonderful couple, Don and Joe, and we so appreciate them spending time with us and telling us about their adventures. We did do some sailing. And of course, we did some dancing. I do want to show off my new sailing gloves that the kids gave me. <laughs> so, there they are. Time to pull the main and do some rip repair. Big. Isn't it? There, it's almost fixed. All right, I'm going to have to pull this back now. baby in the drink. There we go. Here's sail repair on the deck of the boat. Oh, there's my shadow. Ready for juice? Yep. Foot rip. <laughs> it's beautiful. There you go. We're in business. You like this down here? Yeah. Uh, Especially so. since it'll be way up the mast. Yeah, nobody will see. The question yeah. was, what was the most amazing thing? And I think I'm having a hard time identifying something to call the most amazing thing of our experiences other than we, we just don't seem, there's just no limit. You know, I mean, gosh, Rome, Paris, Venice, uh, Athens, there's so much to see. And, and what amazes me is how much we have accomplished in over just a few years. Mm -hmm. We don't move fast, but you keep moving. And uh, I'm reminded of something that some friends once told me. Um, uh, you, you, you watch the weather, you be careful. Nine out of 10 times, maybe 19 out of 20 times, you got it right, and you're gonna have a great day. Every once in a while it doesn't work out, you deal with it. 
But the adventure, what amazes me is just the adventure never stops. The opportunities never quit coming. I didn't even know before I met Joe that people lived on sailboats and and cruised the world. I didn't know people did that. And I was shocked and amazed by the amount of children and pets that were out there. Um, lovely, lovely families packing it up and homeschooling the kids and being out there and animals from cats to very large dogs, very small to very large dogs. And people just live their normal lives on these boats. So it's, it's a grand adventure. Every day is different. Cruising children are amazing because they're best friends with their parents. That's nice. <laughs> Which isn't always the case. Which right? is not always the case, sure. And they're best friends with their parents. And the kids, all of them, at some point in time say, I want to participate. I want to do something on this boat. And they join in. They, and, and the cruising children, have, to me, have been amazingly capable, mature, well, well spoken, well behaved, for the, you know, almost yeah. across the board. We met an American family in um, Ragusa, Sicily, with five children on board. Wow. And they have crossed the Atlantic, been up and down the East Coast, all through the islands. Fourth of July in, 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 in New York Harbor? No, that, that wasn't that family. Oh, that was okay. But, um, and we met an Australian family with three children on board. They have crossed the Atlantic, gone up and down the East Coast, gone through the canal, and got to New Zealand this year. So, what an awesome education. It's a great education. Kids, you know, not only just education wise, but also cultural. Exactly. Culture, That's right. why they're Different so worldly people. and exceptional mm -hmm. children. Never, <laughs> met, never met a stranger. Mm -hmm. You know, they're yeah. wonderful, wonderful. And they're still kids. Right. You know, uh, yep, that happens. I, say, I think it was St. Like Thomas Aquinas said, the world's a book, but if you don't travel, you only get to read one page. Mm. <laughs> That's that is profound. great. That is yeah, great. That is a great quote. Mm -hmm. That is great. trying to polish up the gauges, the, I guess, plastic. I use toothpaste to polish them. They look a little better. Hey, where do zombies like to go sailing? Steve, that would only be in the Dead Sea. Lame, I know. Yeah. Well, then what do you do with the sick boat? Well, of course, you take that puppy to the dock. <laughs> we repaired our sail. We told you we got a nice four-foot tear in it. Um, not the best thing. But Steve put some Dacron tape on both sides of the tear. And then for extra reinforcement, he used our trusty singer whoop, 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 and did some stitching. Did some straight stitching, but the majority, of course, was zigzag, especially around the edges of the tape. So we're hoping that repaired it and that uh, the sail can be raised and work well. It is an old sail. Old isn't bad. We're hoping it will work for us. So let's see.
nice 10 knot breeze here. And the race is on. How come I can't pass Sprite? 